What's up guys? I am getting a bit of testing in on Project Cars 2 because tomorrow, Saturday morning, I've been invited to take part in an online race just for fun. But a few of the guys over on the Seastream app have put together a little 15 lap race around Silverstone in the Formula A cars on Project Cars 2. Okay mate, take it easy on the outlap. Let's get the temperatures up before we start So this is my first go. I'm finding it very difficult to get to grips with this car. Very difficult to drive, very snappy, particularly in high speed corners. I've been through all of the settings in the engineering uh, segment on the game to try and dial out the mid corner snap oversteer that I've got on this thing. And uh, nothing that I would try in the real world has been working at all. Um, when the tyres are cold as they are now, it really is like driving on ice. So I'm just trying to gradually build some tyre temperature on the outlap. But I'm finding it very difficult. If anybody wants to come and have a look tomorrow, uh, do feel free. All the details are in the Seedstream app. So go and check that out if you haven't got it already. It is an open forum. If you want to take part, come and have a go. And you can see how terrible I am with this thing. <laughs> Goodness me, absolutely zero grip with cold tyres. <laughs> you really need to put a lot of work into getting temperature into these tyres. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It's the first kind of online actual competitive event that I've ever taken part in, even though it is just for fun. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that because I'm kind of still getting to grips with all of this stuff, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, anyway, before we get any further in this video, I just want to say a big thank you for all the love this week for all the videos that I've done. Um, particularly the, uh, the little fun aero experiment I did out in the garden with the kids. Um, that was great fun to do and uh, a lot of you have really enjoyed that. And yesterday when I did Tales from the Treehouse, <laughs> uh, loads of really lovely messages come from you guys on that one as well. So I'm definitely going to do more of those. Uh, if anyone's got any suggestions, first of all, on things that I can do, really basic and simple fun experiments to try and explain certain aspects of maybe Formula One or, or race cars in general. Uh, and also, if anyone's got any segments of my book or any particular stories or any particular events or races or moments in F1 history that I might have been part of that you'd like me to try and expand on in a Tales from the Treehouse episode, uh, do drop me a line, let me know, that'd be great fun. Uh, the other thing I need to show you today is that I found a really cool and really fun little app for your smartphone that's just brilliant in talking about aero and understanding a lot of the concepts that I'm always trying to explain to you in really simple terms. Come check this out. Now this was brought to my attention uh, last week over on Twitter by a guy called Mark Lane. He's an aerodynamicist at the McLaren Formula One team actually. Uh, he's well worth checking out. I'll link his Twitter account in the description of the video because he's been doing some very basic aerodynamics lessons using this app on Twitter of some simple aero parts around the Formula One car. So it's worth checking him out. But the app's really clever and it's really basic and really simple and anybody can use it but it's a really interesting and fun way to display some of the things that I'm always banging on about when it comes to aero uh, here on YouTube and on Twitter. It's a simple way of doing that in an app on your phone. This is how it works. The app's called Wind Tunnel App and what it does is allow you to either with your finger or with a stylus if you've got one for your phone, draw a basic shape like a wing profile for example, very basic doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch. And what happens is when you've got that basic shape there, you can then turn on the virtual wind. So if we go to display, we can turn on, let's say smoke. We can turn the smoke on as if it were in a wind tunnel. And what you can clearly see here is that with my basic wing profile shape, the airstream splitting, some of it going under, some of it going over the top, but look how it follows the contours of the underside of that wing. Now, what you can then start to do is change different parameters, like you could change the angle of that wing. So if we tip it more upright, you can start to see that we've still got a pretty decent attachment, so the flow is still more or less following the profile of the underside of the wing there. If we tip it even further, you can start to see then 
Now, look, not quite so clean. We've gone past what we call the stall angle of the wing. It's actually not too bad now it's settled down, but look how it's not consistent. We've got turbulence starting to kick in because you can see this stream of smoke here starting to break away, starting to spiral. Now that turbulence, that stalling that we talk about in aerodynamics means that you get a very unstable downforce level on your wing of the car, front or rear wing, whatever it is. So we've overstretched the wing in terms of its angle of attack at that point. So let's bring it back to something a little bit more normal and see the whole thing settle down and become this nice uniform attached flow. Now that's really interesting itself, but what you can then also do, if we turn that off, uh, turn that off, we can have, we can do it that way, we can do big chunks of smoke, uh, you get a very similar effect. The other thing we can do is, there, look at this. Now this I find quite interesting. This really helps to demonstrate what I've been talking to you about how a wing actually works, how the curved uh, underside of the wing means that the airflow speeds up when it goes around that curved profile. Because it has to travel further around the curvature of that wing, it speeds up. And this is a really clear demonstration, isn't it? That, uh, that, that stream of smoke there, you can clearly see the part that goes underneath goes much faster than the path, that, the, the one that takes the path over the top. Now what I keep talking to you about is when the, the, an airflow or a fluid speeds up, just like we spoke about in that video the other day, when it speeds up, the pressure drops. And when the pressure drops, you start to generate downforce because the pressure underneath is lower than the pressure on top. We can even display that with this particular app. There we go, now look at this. The light areas, or the blue areas and white areas are low pressure zones. Everything orange and red is much higher pressure. So look how clearly that displays what I've been talking about, how we get a low pressure zone underneath the wing because that's much faster moving airflow. And you can very clearly see that if this area here is really low pressure and above it is much higher or ambient pressure, the higher pressure wants to push down towards the low pressure zone, and that is exactly what gives us our downforce. It's a really nice way of displaying it in a very simple terms. And of course you can draw whatever you like here to get the same kind of effect. It's a really visual, nice graphical way of displaying it. But I think it's so simple, so straightforward, but really highlights everything that I keep talking about. Now we can also do things like play around with the speed that the wind is passing over this. So we can easily change the speed there. And similarly, to how we said before, you'll reach a point, as I move that speed flow up, that, that speed rate further up, we'll reach a point there, just there, where, or a little bit further, where the wing becomes, uh, becomes unstable at those higher speeds. You start to get that Look at that inconsistent attachment to the underside of the wing. It starts to buff it, starts to roll around and every now and again just break away because we've reached the stall point of the wing. If we go even faster, you'll start to see how chaotic it becomes. Now at high speed, when you've got this kind of situation going on, your car becomes incredibly unstable, which is the last thing you want. So designers have to design wings that are the correct profile, but also at the correct angle of attack to enable them to work at the speeds that the car is going around a particular circuit. I think it's really interesting anyway, and it's something that you guys can play around with at home. I'd love to see some of your drawings, so have a go of it. Um, and, uh, and do tag me, if you post anything on social, tag me uh, in it, because I'd love to know what you're drawing with it, how it's working, what things you might be finding out. But you can play around with literally anything on this, only in basic terms. But I think it's a great learning tool. If you, want to dis if you want to explain to children, I've just shown this to my kids, following up from that video we did the other day, I've been trying to explain to them how what I was talking about, hopefully now with this, makes a lot more sense. I think it's great. Right, well, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, uh, do give them a like. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you do. Tell your friends all about it, because there's loads more where that's coming from, uh, especially while we're all locked down at home. So uh, whilst I enjoy my final walk of the week with the dogs, 
uh, before we get into the weekend. Um, I'm going to sign off by saying there's a few things going on in the background of Formula One, of course, right now. Some big discussions about the future, the immediate future, as well as the short to medium term future of the sport. Uh, so we're going to talk about more of that next week. And of course, I'll be back on Monday with the normal Ask Elvis video. So if you've got any questions about anything to do with Formula One, Formula E, cars, uh, sim racing, technology, pretty much whatever you want. Just ask it on pretty much any platform, in the comments here, on Instagram or on Twitter, and make sure wherever you put it, you use the hashtag, hashtag Ask Elvis. Uh, oh, that way I'll be able to find it. You can also do it on the Seedstream app as well. Uh, I will put links to all of the things that I mentioned, uh, the wind tunnel app, I'll put links to the Seedstream app and to uh, Mark Lane's Twitter in the description of the video. So if you want to check any of those out, go and do it. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Ta-da!